All right. This is a video of the vehicle that I am doing the video in. A lot of people kind of get twisted and they start calling my vehicles other things than actually what they are. So, this is the vehicle. And this is the inside. Okay guys, you see a lot of content on YouTube about building business credit, about setting up your credit. And it got me to thinking, why is there so much content on YouTube about building business credit when I as a person with good credit doesn't really pay a lot of attention to those videos that talk about bad credit I just don't and it got me to thinking who are they making these videos for they're making these videos for people with bad credit. This is who they're making them for. This is the crux of what you're seeing on YouTube. You're seeing people with bad credit looking for a way to get around that bad credit and to get in line with business credit or some other credit product. So the first thing that you need to do before you even begin to think about building business credit is to fix your personal credit because that's where everything begins. If you are a person who has one of these fake CPN numbers, credit privacy numbers or something, uh, let me tell you what's going to happen to you in the future. As banks evolve, as technology becomes more pronounced, the banks are not going to have the ability. Well, they're going to, what they're going to do is every time you put in a credit application, the bank is going to look at your credit application and they're going to verify your social security number. And once all banks start to do this, and trust me, this is something that's coming you and your fake credit profile number are just not going to actually really do well going forward because what's going to happen is all banks are going to be verifying these credit numbers and it's going to make it virtually impossible for you to get new credit in this fake credit number so right now what you want to do if you're a person with bad credit bad personal credit you want to fix your bad personal credit we're looking at depending upon what's on there two to three years you want to start on that today because it's going to become virtually impossible for you to get true business credit in a significant sum. Are there EIN credit products out there that you can get? Yes, but that's really a very small part of the market. And once you get those products, you're pretty much tapped out. So how do you build personal credit? This is one of the things that cracks me up. Literally, if you have two to four credit cards for two to four years, you've built your credit. As long as you pay your credit card bills on time, as long as you do not max out your credit card, you have built your personal credit. It's done. You're, you're already there. You've already built your personal credit. So that's fairly easy to do and it doesn't take a lot. Now, here's what you wanna do if you are a person with no business, 
a person with no LLC, a person with no business bank account, a person with no business credit card. What you want to do is go ahead first, make sure that your personal credit profile is clean, meaning that when you're going in to apply for your business checking, that you have very few, ideally, you don't want to have any inquiries in the last 12 months, ideally. <coughs> so, you go in the bank, after you form your LLC, get your EIN, you go in the bank and you talk to the banker and say, hey, I want to apply for a business checking account. I want to apply for a business credit card. I'm just starting my business. And the banker will either put it in or he will tell you. Now, Bank of America, you will not get any business credit products without submitting a tax, your, your tax return. You're, you're not getting that. So Bank of America, uh, Wells Fargo, you're not getting any of their business credit products without submitting tax documentation. And what I feel going forward is that in the future, it's gonna be very hard. Right now, you can't get anything from Wells Fargo without submitting a tax documentation. You can't get anything on the business side from P, you know, Bank of America. And you cannot get lines of credit from Chase. You can get Chase credit cards, but you cannot get a line of credit without submitting a tax documentation. So, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that your personal credit profile is clean, meaning that you have paid your credit card bills down to the minimum, or preferably you go in there and you don't have anything on your credit report. And then you get your business checking, you get your um, business credit card, and you're there. You've already developed business credit. Now, here's the thing. If you're a person with bad business, bad personal credit, a lot of this stuff is going to be real hard. And this is where all of these videos talking about business credit, how to build personal credit, things to do, what banks to use, and all this other stuff, this is where they come into play if you're a person with bad personal credit. You will be told to go out, get an LLC, um, be told to get Net30, your Staples, your Uline, your Granger, your gas cards, and you're going to work really hard buying a bunch of stuff that you really don't need, don't want, and then you're going to build up a Paydex of 91. And then with your Paydex of 91, you're going to go into your bank, and your FICO score is 580, and your bank's going to tell you no. You're not going to be able to get a credit card. You're not going to be able to get a no-doc line of credit. We're getting ready to talk about that in a minute. Uh, when you get a no dock line of credit, this is many banks have 20, uh, a, a, a line of credit that they will issue to anyone who has the right credit score. And this is usually going to be under 50,000. Uh, what I've been seeing is it's definitely going under 50. It's more like 25 to 30,000 dollar line of credit. And this is a no dock line of credit, meaning that you can go into the bank, apply, and you don't have to provide any documentations or anything like that. Now, one of the issues that you're going to have with this is you can only get so much. You literally would have to find multiple banks to get your no doc line of credit. You would have to find multiple situations for you to be successful with your no doc line of credit. So another thing that you want to do. So I just told you how to build your credit to the four credit cards to the three, three, four years, how to get business credit when your business isn't even producing a return. Now, that's the basic stuff. That's the easy stuff. That's the simple stuff. Now, let's get into what do you do 
if you want to develop some serious business credit. Now, what do I mean when I say serious business credit? Serious business credit is a credit card with a credit limit of $50,000 and serious lines of credit or credit lines of $100,000. You are not getting $50,000 credit cards or lines of credits in six figures without showing tax documents. It's not going to happen, which means that now you have to actually start a real business, start making real money and go ahead and put together your business to get your significant business line of credit. At the moment I have, and I'm going to break it down like this, just with American Express, I have $350,000 worth of business credit. If I want to put in my business credit that is part of my American Express Platinum, my American Express Gold, I'm literally sitting on $650,000 worth of business credit. A video about that will be coming up. And that's this is something that literally I started last July. I started this last July, but I have been a member of American Express since 2014. So I just shut down my cards because I wasn't using them. Now, I went ahead and I, at the moment, I have nine b credit cards with American Express. I have two personal and the rest are business. So once again, once you get into setting up a real business once you get into actually growing a real business and I'm going to explain to you why you should be doing this this is how you can get business credit very easily by just starting a true business by working on your business by developing and building a business resume which includes a personal net worth statement, which includes tax documents, which includes everything that you need to be a legitimate business owner. Uh, I see so many videos that are aimed at people with really bad personal credit as there's, because here's the thing, at the moment, there are options, there are things out there that can help you, but you're not going to get that much credit. I just told you that I've built $650,000 worth of business credit with American Express in literally eight months. You are not going to be able to do that with bad personal credit. It's not going to happen. Now, also, I have good personal credit. I have good business credit, and I actually have a business that is several years old. So, that's one of the reasons that I was able to re-enter the American Express system and build a $650,000 lines of credit, including all of my, and that's not including my personal credit cards. That's just business credit. I don't even use my personal credit cards. So what you want to do is build yourself up to the point where you can build real business credit and going back to the beginning of the video, that starts with you building personal credit. That's where it all starts. You cannot escape it. You cannot avoid it. You cannot get around it. Now, there's a lot of credit type options. There are charge cards that if you use these charge cards responsibly, they report to your credit report. Uh, once again, Honestly, I feel that that is aimed at the people who do not want to sit down and number one, fix their personal credit. Number two, establish a long-term emergency fund, establish a short-term emergency fund, establish a family operating account and do the right things that they need to do to fix their personal credit to set the stage. Because here's the thing, uh, right now, uh, I got turned down for a business line of credit from PNC Bank 
And what they offered me was a line of credit that was subsidized by the SBA. And that's what I'm going through because I bought a Porsche in October. And that's the only reason I didn't get the line of credit. So I'm a person with a business. I'm a person with good personal credit. I'm a person with good business credit. And once again, I'm in the system. I know how these things work and I know how they operate. And this is one of the issues that I am facing because for many, many years, I did not build business credit because I didn't have to, because I was really cash flowing quite nicely from my business. So understand where you are and what you have to do with. First, you've got to, once again, two to the four credit cards builds up your personal credit. Just don't go crazy. Make sure that you pay your personal credit cards. And this sets the stage for you to begin building business credit. And only after your business is up and running, now you're in the position where you can now start to build sustainable, durable, um, cash flowing lines of credit that are meaningful. My goal, you know, because essentially this thing with American Express really shocked me. That's why there's a complete video coming up on that probably tomorrow. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand is credit is about knowing what to do. Credit is not about how much money you have in the bank. It's about knowing what to do, knowing what to apply for, knowing what not to apply for. So I just thought I would do this little video to go ahead and prep you guys because in three years, I don't think it's going to be possible. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to be possible to get sustainable. Once again, sustainable is high limit credit cards, high limit lines of credit with bad personal credit. It's just not going to happen. And there, there's different elements. There's different things you can do in there. But essentially, what you're going to have to do is play the game by the rules. And that's where we're getting. Like at the moment, there's uh, a lot of options. There's things you can do. But once all banks get to the point where they're going to start verifying any bank that pulls from Experian, Experian verifies your social security number. Once TransUnion and Equifax do that, game over. So what you want to do is put yourself in a position to win. And this, this isn't about being rich or wealthy. It's about just knowing what to do and knowing not what to, knowing what to do and knowing the things not to do. So got some training that's coming. And uh, since I'm in the vehicle, I don't have the laptop, but I'm giving away a brand new MacBook Pro the end of March. We're going to get into that. I'm going to be talking about a lot of the new training that's coming, a lot of the new things that I'm going, getting ready to do, getting ready to put out. So be sure to be subscribed. Be sure to hit the bell notification, hit all, and be sure to watch every video because we've got a lot of stuff that's coming for people who want to build durable, sustainable businesses.